Hello, this webinar is titled, Not Voting Means You Endorse What's Going On, and I find this to be some very challenging thoughts and ideas, so I hope you'll stick with me. You've probably seen before these four spheres of a healthy society, and when the individual, family, the church and faith community, and government are playing their proper roles as they're well-defined, society functions well and is healthy. However, when the civil government, like a river, overflows its banks, all of the isms of expanding government power plague society. Socialism, communism, Marxism, secular humanism, dictatorships, tyranny, and others. In a country like ours, when you see the civil government begin to overflow its banks like this, and you don't exercise your voice or vote to stop it, it means that you're endorsing what the government is doing. We need to consider in greater detail what we're endorsing when we choose not to participate in voting or raising our voice. Here are some of those things. We're endorsing government rescue for irresponsibility, welfare laws that remove responsibility from the father, tax laws that remove a person's ability to be a steward over their own resources, and a legal system that values tolerance over other values, thereby diminishing personal values of self-government. We also are endorsing ever-increasing laws that govern people's behavior. In the family arena, we're endorsing the redefinition of the family, the taxation of the family, easy divorce law, endorsing sex outside of marriage, and care for the poor and needy we're turning over to the government. We're endorsing the educating according to government schools values that are contrary to the family's values. And we're also endorsing poor civics education. In the church, we're endorsing the fact that the state wants power over the church's voice, that the state takes on the role of caring for the poor, that the state does not want to be told right from wrong or held accountable. And we're endorsing the idea that our faith is private and not to be shared out in the public domain. Finally, we're endorsing that the government is allowed to foster evil under the guise of free speech, that we're endorsing that it takes over good works and fights those that are doing good works, and that we're endorsing that the state becomes God. So all these things we're endorsing if we're not raising our voice or exercising our vote. As I've thought about this, I've thought about the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and power and glory forever. This makes me wonder what we're thinking when we pray, Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done? While it's not true that God's kingdom come is supposed to be advanced by force through civil government, but rather by love through individuals, families, and churches, it is true that if God's kingdom come is assaulted by the civil government, it's to be resisted or changed. In our country, voting and expressing our voice is our opportunity to change it. So we need to resist the assault on the individuals, families, and the church. These are God's instruments of expanding his kingdom through love. To not do so is to say that we're comfortable in praying the Lord's Prayer, but then letting God's kingdom be assaulted. This is really challenging for me, and I hope it gives you something to think about. This is Christian Civics Training. Thanks for listening.